The name or title of Top G has popped up in pop culture. There seems to be a lot of different definitions of the phrase. Some see him as the nice guy to be, the rich, successful millionaire, and some see him as the guy with toxic masculinity. As far as Andrew Tate goes, he's a hard guy to pin down. How much do we really know about people when all we know about them has been presented to us through the media? Even if you don't like the guy, you have to admit he has accomplished more than most ever will. So who is Andrew Tate and what is a top G? Let's try to give this a little bit of clarity. Andrew Tate's definition of a top G is a man with impeccable perspicacity and sheer indefatigability, who is a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. When you are a top G, you are dangerous in everything. You are in shape, you have your business in line, you have control of your life, and you are leaving a legacy in respect to your family. You are also helping people around you, helping them level up, build their own thing. A great quote from Isaac Newton that reminisces this is, If I have seen further, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. Taking the cards you were dealt and still playing a great game regardless. Taking everything just a little bit further. Giving the next generation a leg up. Welcome to Inspired Wallets. New videos are added every week. Come for the inspiration and stay for the money. People love to say that you can accomplish anything. To be completely honest with you, that's not true. Very few people have the dedication and work ethic to operate on the top 1%. Those that do often don't know how to get there. Understand if you're dedicated and ready to work hard, it's not enough. You need to know what to work on, what to dedicate yourself to. When rich people say how to get rich, 99% of people don't listen. That's why the 1% are the one. Learn what, then do the work. Tate's metaphor for getting rich or financially free is called escaping the matrix. The matrix is the lifestyle that most people live for their whole lives. It's the nine to five job that takes up most of their life and energy. It's being financially stuck or circling the drain all the time and just barely making it through. Never mind getting ahead. Never mind putting themselves in a place to be a top G. Andrew's childhood was similar to a lot of people's. The difference is, is he found it in himself to escape the matrix. Escaping the matrix. When Andrew was 11, his parents split up. He and his brother Tristan moved to England with his mother. They lived in government housing and were on welfare. Andrew worked by carrying ice all day at a fish market from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and going to school. He did this for a long time with nothing in return. This was all just to survive. Andrew was always frustrated with his life, with money as a kid or a young man. He was angry at the fact that some people have hacked the matrix and he didn't. They had the expensive car and he was on welfare. He was overwhelmed and had a lot of energy to let out, so he got himself into kickboxing to help with the frustration and ended up being a kickboxing champion years later, after earning his place in the ring. By using kickboxing, he saw the light at the end of the tunnel. He wanted to use this to get rich, but he realized he was barely making it even as the world champion. Each fight was about $100,000, but 20% of that went to his manager, 40% went to tax. He was only doing two professional fights a year, you can't become rich on that. So we decided to change careers and move into building a streaming empire with beautiful women on camera. At one point, he had over 75 women working in over 10 different countries. He ran all the day to day and helped the girls if they needed it. It made him and the people working with him a lot of money. This kind of business attracted a lot of unwanted attention. So we started a company called Hustlers University. This business model is very scalable and is teachable to everyone. No matter the level you are on, it is available all over the world. He teaches you how to profit from technologies, how to monetize them in many ways. E-commerce, copywriting, stocks, freelancing, crypto investing, business, finance, and content creation. You get to chat with millionaires to learn from them. Join a community of like-minded people. It's only $50 a month right now. Now he spends his time working from beautiful locations around the world or on his private jet. He has all his food cooked for him and his family. He still works hard, but he does it with style. Working a nine to five won't get you rich, at least not until you're 65. If anything, it will keep you part of the matrix. If you keep doing what everyone else is doing, you will become that everyone else. Not to mention that not every pension comes through. Some businesses go bankrupt and a lot of people are left with nothing in retirement. Surround yourself with people that will teach you how to escape. Learn what it takes. 
learn what the habits are, what they do on a daily basis, how to make the business decisions, how they think about money, and most importantly, how they act with it. Andrew learned a long time ago that making money is a skill. He mastered it and now teaches other people how to do the same through his program. He solved his problems and sold the solution. No better time now to start learning or to start something that you've been thinking about. Allow yourself time to make it happen. Build that something to escape the matrix. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, ring the bell for future notifications, and make sure to subscribe. What is a top G according to you? What are your thoughts on it? Leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.